Welcome to the Art of War Peeps. This is going to be a mini guide series focused on teaching the games and mechanisms. So without much delays, let's learn about War Peace Assault and Defense Mechanic. Defeating enemy units will fill up the assault and defense charges simultaneously, and each mode will give your units unique buff to help control the state of the battlefield. First, the most straightforward and easy to understand is the assault mechanic, which is pretty much your rushing, going in, commando, combat mechanic. Normally you just simply use to overwhelm the enemy as quickly as you can because it provides movement speed, but also provides almost near perfect accuracy buff to all your units so you don't miss your shots as you are engaging the enemy. And the second combat mode, which is more complex and provides more strategy in the form of the defense combat mechanic, it will increase your unit's survivability. It stops your front line from moving while allowing your back line to catch up it forces the soldiers to look for cover, so if they're near an object or structure, they will attempt to go behind it, even from destroyed vehicles, sandbags, whichever um, item is in the in the field. It can stop units from stepping on mines, so you can press and hold it, so you can stop them from moving into a like a danger zone or to remain outside enemy turret, while it also increases your range for a short duration. So remember you have full accessibility on ASWD to move the camera, Q and E, which will allow you to use your powers, so defensive mode and assault mode, and then one through zero, but of course if you're very close to the keyboard, you most likely will be one through five maybe. It can be used to quickly deploy units that you need or activate certain modes while you freely use your mouse to either aim, deploy units, and look at unit stats. So both Assault and Defense share the same energy pool, so every time you kill an enemy it will fill simultaneously, like we mentioned at the beginning. But also when you use it, you're depleting it at the very same time. So you have to pretty much think about what you're going to be using it mostly for. Um, the good thing is, of course, it's it's tuggable, so you press it once and then you let go and then you, you can press the other one and using both of them. Now, one thing that it is very different is the actual consumption rate. It's actually not the same. I did the test where if you fully charge a defense mode and you start using it nonstop, so you just press and hold it, it will last 25 seconds before it is fully depleted. And then assault mode will last only 15 seconds. So that means there's a 10 second difference between each other. So defense mode will allow it to last longer, but because the soul mode is more aggressive, it's the reason the, the consumption rate is a bit higher than, of course, defense mode. At the beginning of this video, I also mentioned that defense mode increases your unit survivability. And the reason is because uh, while we were in Discord and chatting with the developer, um, there's a thing that's not really clear. There's no visual indicator. But in defense mode, your unit's hitbox size actually gets reduced a 75%. Their hitbox is actually sphere-shaped. So from head to the bottom portion of the body, not counting the legs, it's pretty much a floating sphere. And of course, the moment the, the enemy is shooting at you, if it hits that sphere, that will be counting as the hit. But the thing is, imagine that sphere shrinking down 75% and that will be your new hitbox size as long as you're holding the defense mode. So that means even if you're in the like in the open field, if, if, if there's no cover, you can still use this to provide an extra chance of not getting hit. So you can use this strategically in moments where you have to go through a section when there's really no way you can take cover. Or simply, if you know you're gonna get hit and you want the units to survive longer by increasing that chance of not getting hit, then that's why the defense mode is there. It did confirm there's no evasion mode. Even though you reduce the size of the box, if there's an explosion, of course the explosion, you cannot evade it because the hit box will still get hit by an explosion. So use it accordingly. It's only to be used to defend against incoming fire, not incoming explosions or missiles. All right, that'll be all for this portion of the guide where we spoke about assault and the defense mechanic of the game. Uh, if there's any changes in the future, I might bring it up, you know, if any anything changes, because this is technically early access, I'm definitely will either modify or bring it back up. 
I am still need to talk about the snipers because snipers do have a new mechanic or new skill when you rank up related to the defense, but that will be for a different time. Oh, well, everybody, take care. This is Mobius signing out.